On this cold January morning, eyes are wet and embraces are shared as people gather at the event center in Ogden to pay their respects. I'm amazed and it must be a blessing for the people who have suffered. Floods of people all coming to show support and honor for fallen officer Jared Frankham, who was killed in the line of duty just last Wednesday while serving a search warrant. Frankham leaves behind a wife and two young daughters. My heart goes out to them. In time, wounds heal, but my heart is just um, broken for them right now and the adjustments. In attendance at the funeral services, law enforcement from all over the nation come to take part. I don't think distance has anything to do with it. Officers from Chicago. I do feel the sorrow for him, his family, and the community. We're just out there to support each other and officers across the nation. Uh, we're all the police. We're all out doing what we're supposed to be doing. And unfortunately, it's met with results such as, as today. New York, Philadelphia, Pocatello. It is a family nationwide. And of course, officers from all across the state, some who have felt the pains of losing their own. They give it time, uh, keep close. I know how, what they're having to handle, and, uh, and I think that causes a lot more stress and emotion because you know what they're going through. And uh, there's just no words to describe it. You. Uh, when you have to look at the family. But whatever the reason is for attending, today there is an outpouring of love and sympathy for Officer Frankham, his family, and Ogden City. I really wanted to participate and witness um, this event today. I think it's, um, you know, I could have been in this spot myself many times, and so I wanted to be here. I just wish the best for uh, the family of Officer Jared Frankham and his co-workers and that they go home safe every night.